As the fall time season descended upon us, the gentle carpet of colors this year were at times quite dazzling. However, the overall display of brilliance was more muted this year with far less majesty than what we usually witness in Colorado. We endured bearing witness as the elk undertook their yearly migration to lower elevations, pausing to feed in our meadow as the winter slowly took hold. As the winter cold began to come through in waves, we were glad to see that our new self-cleaning Coanda water screen was not requiring us to hike up to the intake for cleaning. The only accumulation was a small amount of algae. This year we installed a variety of meters on the system. This first one measures the power as it arrives at the house before entering the 480 volt transformer. These next meters allow us to monitor the separate 120 volt legs of power that come from the transformer. And this set replaces the former amperage meters so we can monitor the system in the house. And this year, we salvaged an electric hot tub to put some of our excess power to good use. As the winter set in, it was quite cold at nights with very little snow. This created a wide variety of ice sculptures. As the dry cold continued, the diversion from the creek continued to flow, but a shield of ice covered most of its path. At the powerhouse, we began to notice a drop in the normal pressure of the system, which meant water wasn't filling the pipe fully. At the intake, the water was flowing well, but the air vent that lets trapped air escape from the pipeline had become frozen and allowed the pipe to slowly collect air thus reducing pressure. The fix was simple enough. A little hot water from the house melted the blockage along with a little bit of elbow grease. We didn't need to remove the ice from the intake, but why not keep it looking clean? The cold snowless conditions persisted, but our creek diversion intake continued to feed the pipeline to the meadow without admitting any air. All over the area, the water flowing from natural springs became cascades of frozen ice sculpture. A normal winter would have snow providing some insulation to the flowing water from the deep night cold. But not this year. There were exposed ice patches everywhere. The outlet from the powerhouse continued to flow and formed a crusty dome of ice over the water pipe exiting the building. The creek itself became a frozen landscape above the flowing waters. But in the meadow, our penstock intake kept flowing and developed a hefty crust of ice, which probably helped to insulate the meadow from the extreme cold. The outlet of the creek diversion pipe also became crusted over with a beautiful ice sculpture. The water continued to flow, but nearly completely under sheets of ice. The Coanda screen didn't need to be cleared of the ice. We could see that the screen itself was free of any debris, so we decided it was best not to fix what was not broken. An older rancher said that he had not seen such a dry winter since 1962 and everywhere the natural seepage of water came to a halt. The water in the creek never ceased and even though the level was reduced, our intake worked quite effectively to keep air out of the diversion pipe. We could hear the water flowing through the flexible pipe and with no problems occurring, our visits to the intake became very infrequent. We sat warm and toasty in our hydropower heated house and watched the waves of storms and the ever-changing moods of the winter weather as it passed by. One of the most captivating things to me is to witness the changes of how the same scene can appear depending on weather and light patterns.
As the winter progressed, the snows did eventually cover everything. When the spring melt began, our creek diversion was fully covered and we had not visited it for months. There was no need for any maintenance. And the waters flowing into the meadow emerged in springtime unfettered and flowing nicely. The only maintenance required after this winter was to clean a small amount of dark algae from the accelerator plate of the Coanda intake. So, as the arrival of spring overtakes our region, we look forward to another year of reliable, abundant, renewable power for all its beneficial uses in our little corner of the world. If you like these videos, please click the like button, subscribe, or share it with others. The next videos will be a shortened review of the whole multi-year process as an overview with less detail. A special thanks to all of our viewers for your continued support and interest.